Welcome back. The Federal Reserve left interest rates unchanged despite a sharp pickup in inflation. The Federal Open Market Committee now forecasts two rate hikes in 2023. In March, it saw no increases until 2024, so they moved up these interest rate hikes. Here's Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell at a news conference yesterday. It's, it's good, actually, to see inflation, ex longer-term inflation expectations move back up to a range. It's a range that's consistent with uh, what our objectives are. These are not precise measures, and, that's, and they, they contain uh, risk premiums of various kinds, and that's why we look at a broad range of them and tend to look at the movement of that broad range of, uh, of, of indicators. Jerome Powell and Janet Yellen both kind of downplaying the threat of inflation. Here's how the markets closed yesterday after the Fed's announcement. Government bond yields also rose as investors anticipated tighter Fed policies. Let's talk about inflation and all this stuff and what it means for your bottom line with our Money Huddle team. Welcome in now, Seth Denson, author of The Cure, a blueprint for solving America's healthcare crisis. Also with us, Dan Geltrude, America's accountant. He's the CPA and founder of Geltrude & Company. Gentlemen, great to see you again. Hey, John. Good to be here, John. All right, Heather is, no, is not here today. She is on the road, but she will be back next week. Uh, and, you know, there, there are always ways. There's always a buyer and a seller when things are going kind of crazy like they are right now. But I want to talk about two places, guys, where we see investors really showing a lot of interest. That's in the bond market and uh, the meme stocks we're hearing so much about. Uh, Dan, first to you. Uh, what do you like better, bonds or meme stocks? <laughs> well, let me start by saying this. I don't like meme stocks. Uh, to me, that's all about just gambling. There, to me, is no financial substance behind that. Uh, people start chasing these stocks based upon what's going on in Reddit or Twitter. So that is not for me. So by default, even though bond rates are not necessarily great and with rising inflation, bonds are not exactly where you want to be. Given those two choices, I would go the bond route at this point. You know, Seth, we've also seen a lot of new interest in these bonds, municipal bonds, other things. And, you know, it's kind of like the meme stocks where you have people online talking about these these things with you know with people like myself who are not you know intimately involved with uh, investing you sometimes you have to read up on these things it takes some time you should talk to your own financial advisor or you can just go on reddit and hear about how uh, hot you know junk rated municipal bonds are and you can jump in that if you want to but we're also seeing this too not just with municipal bonds but also with corporate bonds people are looking for different ways to put their places to put their money yeah, and I'm kind of with Dan. I'm not, I'm not hot on the bond market just yet, although I think we will get there. But that will depend on raising interest rates. Until that happens, the bond market just really isn't where your money should be, unless you're in a position where you need that fixed asset. But bonds do tend to do better once we do raise interest rates because for a couple reasons. One, we start to see some global investment. Foreign investors will start pouring their money in. And Treasury bills do better uh, once those interest rates are at a level where there's some return on that. And right now where bond rates are, specifically in the short-term bond market, uh, they're just not there. So if you're prepping for this, you might want to start thinking ahead. Do what you just mentioned. Talk to your financial advisor, start looking at things like bond ladders, which are going to mature over time based on what the interest rates do, but set yourself up to, for success in the future. You know, I was kind of joking around, Dan, like, you know, everything is so, you know, overcharged right now. It's like your, you know, your, your engine's running at 8,000 RPMs. That's the economy. Uh, and some people might be looking for something a little bit more vanilla in terms of an investment vehicle, and that's what bonds provide, right? Yeah, they do. But look, the whole point about we are in an inflationary period, and I believe it's not necessarily transitory because the policies that are coming out in Washington are causing a lot of this. Mm. So unless those policies change, we're going to be dealing with inflation for a while. So people have to think through how do you stay ahead of the inflation curve, which means you're not sticking your money in the bank with a CD. You're not going with a bond with a, a fixed rate. You're really forced into the stock market. So for me, if you're already in the market, you probably want to just stay in the positions you are, you are right now if you're happy and ride through this period of time, whether it's going to be three or six months or maybe even a year of rising costs.
And when you say, Dan, no policy changes, you're talking about the interest rates increasing. But, you know, Seth, we saw that the projected date for the rise of interest rates move closer to us right now. Do you think they might move it up again if things continue to get worse with inflation? Yeah, you know, I don't know that they'll move it up. They should. If you want my opinion on it, I think they should. I think uh, looking into 2022, maybe one, I'm hearing now two interest rate hikes. I wouldn't mind seeing a quarter point, half point before the end of the year. I think it's necessary with as much cash as it's in the market and the liquidity that's there. We need to start moving the needle back to a stabilized economy and start hedging against this inflation. And right now, the Fed doesn't seem to want to do that. Paging Paul Volcker. Paging Paul Volcker for those interest rate increases. Guys, great to see you. A pleasure to talk to you both, as always, our friends Dan and Seth. And again, Heather will be back with us next week for our Money Huddle. Stay with us. Plenty more to come here on John Bachman Now. Our